Hello and welcome back to another episode of my beginner's guide to horse aisle 3. In this video we're going to be going over breeding. Long awaited and I'm sure you guys are ready to get started. So we're just going to hop right in. Before you can breed any of your horses you're going to want to make sure they're watered and fed. As you can see I am at my ranch. Um, the easiest way to water and feed your horses is to grow some hay, get a hay shed, feed as you can see it feeds all my horses and then right over here I have my water tower and water towers water all your horses those are very very useful items to build at your ranch so I strongly recommend doing so the other thing you're gonna need to build at your ranch if you want to breed is this fancy little building which is a breeding barn so, your horses are watered and fed, you got your breeding barn up. You can use any player's breeding barn. If you visit someone's ranch and they have one, um, you can breed your horses there. You will not be able to breed to their horses, it will just pull up your horses list, like mine is here. And the first screen it's going to pull up is all of your mares. It's only going to show the mares that are not pregnant and that are over four years old. Any younger than four years old will not be able to breed, that's too young. Um, and then any, of course, that are already pregnant are not on this list. And then as you breed these bears, they will disappear off the list as well. So for example, um, this one, she's ready to breed. Her hunger and thirst are full and her mood as well you need this to be um, higher than zero. And so I already pet these mares earlier. You don't need their mood to be completely full when you breed them. It just has to be past this M here. And so as you can see, I did it just past that M. So she is good to go. The other thing if with breeding is um, as you guys previously saw in one of my videos, there are amulets you can use that will affect the breeding of these horses. So those are going to be under the tack button in the horse's profile. And it's these two right here. Hide Simulo keeps, um, is going to ensure that the foal's genetic stats confirmation and everything else is within the parent range. Um, this means that for example, this mare is 16.2 hands high, and these are her genetic stat numbers. And so if I were to pair her with a stud, say this fella, he is 16.3 hands high, purple roan, and these are his genetic stat numbers. So the foal is going to be their numbers are not going to be higher or lower than his or the mother's genetic stat numbers. And the foal is also going to be 16.2, 16.3 hands high. And their confirmation is going to be some sort of combination of the father's and the mother's. Ooh, I have mail. Um, so that is the Ed Simulo amulet. There we go. The other amulet you can use is Transmutatio. This, as the name suggests, um, causes mutations in the foal. Now mutations do not mean somatic mutations. Mutations mean um, the foal's genetic stat numbers, confirmation, and coloring um, will likely be outside of the parent range. So it does the opposite of what the Edsimulo does. So that's how you see some people have like midget horses, some people have giant horses compared to the breed average. That's how they usually get those horses, is by using the transmutatio. Uh, you can also use it to try and get an upswing in these numbers. Some people get lucky with that and that's how they advance their breeding programs. I do not get lucky with that, so I hardly ever use that amulet. This mare, we're gonna go ahead 
These amulets can only be applied to mares. You cannot apply them to stallions. And so she's good to go. So I'm going to select her. And then I think I want to pair her with we're gonna try this stud so you're gonna want to check as you can see his mood is at zero so I'm going to have to hop on him hit P for pet and do this until you see that mood bar fill up a little bit just past that M right there you don't have to do any more when you get as many horses as I do, you have a couple hundred to breed every couple of days, um, that's going to save you a lot of time. So this, again, is the mare I want to use. You can find him on the list. And they're bred. The downside to using those breeding amulets, as you can see, as I mentioned before, that mare is off of this list. That is because she is now pregnant. So in order to retrieve that amulet, you're going to have to go into your actual horses list, scroll through your horses until you find the one with the amulet on, go into her profile, remove it, and then go back to breeding. And you go in, do the next one, put the amulet on her, go back select her and I'm going to breed her to the same stallion. Go back into my horses list. Find her and remove it. Now the other way to breed horses. This is obviously breeding horses from your ranch. If you have a, a horse in your store that you want to breed to or um, there's another player that has a horse in their store that you want to breed to, you're going to go visit the club it's at. Hop on a horse I can ride here. And then you're going to go find that player's store just like you would going to buy an item. But instead we're going to be looking at horses for studs. So this is my store. It's going to be the same process with any other person's player's store. You can go into the stallion's profile, view his stats, and you can also breed straight from his profile. That ensures you are breeding to the right stud. The other thing I strongly suggest doing is if you are going to do this and you are going to spend money on a breeding, um, especially if it's a stud that's not yours, I very strongly recommend using an amulet if you have one. Um, this is going to ensure that the money is worth your while. So the mare I want to breed to, even though this is my horse so the money is going to me, I'm still going to use an amulet. And then I'm going to go back. Make sure this is the stud I want to use. And then I'm going to breed to him. It's going to pull up my list of available mares. I'm going to find her. And I'm going to breed them. So that's how you purchase the breeding. The mare is now bred. Go back in, retrieve my amulet. And then continue going down my list if I wanted to do so. When you are looking for stallions to breed to, you can go to a club shopping board. Ours is over here. Or if you have um, the newspaper, you can pull that up. And then you're going to go down here, and if you're looking for a specific breed, so say my WSP I wanted to find a stud for, I would go in here, and I would go all the way down. Say I wanted to breed him to 
I want to find a nice thoroughbred that's not mine. It's going to pull up from the least amount to the highest amount. And these are the stud fees. These are how much um, these horses breedings are listed for. These are before tax prices. So um, they're going to be a little bit higher than these numbers in here. That is because of club tax. Uh, that is a default that cannot be removed by the player um, or by you or anything like that. So I'm going to go through here. Okay, say I wanted to breed to this lovely stallion. It's going to tell you what the store name is and what club that's at. So I'm going to go to the club list, Alpha, go down, find Sequoia. Travel there. Again, if you're going to do this and purchase a breeding from another player, strongly suggest using an amulet if you have one available. It's going to be much more worth your while, and you're less likely to get a dud full. No matter what you're breeding for, whether it be personality, color, metrics, genetic stats, things like that. So you're going to find the player's store. As you can see, she has a lot of stallions <laughs> in her store. This is where going into the profile and looking through them makes it handy. And this is where you might find other studs that they have that you didn't see on the list that you might be interested in breeding to. There he is. So this is the one I found on the board that I want to use. As you can see, you can't view your mare's profile, so I'm going to go ha have to go into my horses list and find the mare I want to breed him with. As you can see, it kind of turns into a tedious process when you have a lot of horses. There she is. I'm gonna throw that amulet on here, make sure she's fed, watered, has a little bit of mood. To make it easier, I like to hop on them. When I breed them, it will make it easier to find them to get that amulet back. Go into the horse's profile. Again, make sure that's the one you want to use. Purchase the breeding. That about covers it. That's the basics of breeding. If you want to know more about um, how I pair horses for metrics, genetic stat, personality, color, things like that, um, I will go over that in a separate video, possibly a different series, because that is rather advanced, and um, it's going to take a long time to get through that. I don't want to bore you guys right now. This is the basics of breeding. 
and you can pretty much get around and find any stallion you need to in the game to breed your mares to. Hope you guys found that helpful. Maybe you guys learned something new. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.